All right, real quick here, folks. I just want to make a quick video to help uh, you folks out there in Toyota land. Um, I recently swapped out the hub. Just to, I'll, make, I'll try to make this uh, story short so you know where I'm at. I had to swap out the rear right hub because it was pulling an ABS light, and it turned out that I had a gob of grease that my rear, rear bearing had let go that had kind of like caught on the on the uh, on the ABS sensor in that rear wheel. So um, the bearing uh, was in pretty bad shape when I pulled it apart. Um, I've got another video on that. But in any case, when I got the wheel back together, I had that rear brake line open all day long and I should have capped it because what ended up happening is, is it kind of Chinese water tortured uh, a drip the entire you know hours that my uh, that brake line was off of that wheel cylinder. So uh, I didn't realize it and I, I wasn't in a hurry to get the project done. I had all day to do it. In fact, I pulled the wheel off and I went and mowed the lawn. And I mean, I did all kinds of stuff while, while that brake line was opening and I was not expecting it to actually pull that much fluid from my master cylinder. But see how my master cylinder is broken into three sections? This middle section was completely dry. Um, and I didn't realize it because I went to uh, bleed the brakes after I got everything hooked back up and I pumped I pumped it like three times knowing that I need to keep pay attention to what's in my master cylinder and I only pumped it like three times and then I heard this glurp and I'm like oh because I had the hood open and so sure enough I open uh, I open up the cap here and I look and it has sucked it dry and I just glurped a whole bunch of air into my master cylinder so I'm in a scenario here now let's get to the point with the video, video description I'm in, a, I'm in a scenario here where I have to bleed this master cylinder again because I just glurped a bunch of air in it. And you can see I kind of already have it set up with your typical bleeding setup. Um, but my setup is a little bit unique because I put this master cylinder back on, uh, or on there. I replaced it about a year and a half ago. And I know not to torque things too tight, but for some reason, and I have no idea how this back, this back one is just stuck on there. That, that uh, tube nut is just stuck on there. So, um, and I'm even using a flare nut or a flare, uh, flare nut wrench like I'm supposed to, right? And I was as careful, I used penetrating oil. I mean, I did everything that I, I feel like I did everything right uh, to try to get that off and yet it's still rounded. This front one came off no problem, but that back one rounded off. And so now I'm in a scenario where um, I've got to, I have to bleed this master cylinder and I don't want to deal with this right now. So I'll tell you what I did. Notice how it's got that pink zip tie on there. So what I've done is I've just decided to extend my hose, right? And I'm actually just gonna come over here to the ABS module and I'm just gonna make a connection that looks like this. So I'm gonna disconnect from right here uh, on the ABS module and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hook into this metal brake line. And this is a straight shot right over to, that, uh, to the master cylinder, the port that I have rounded off. So I'm gonna be able to bleed this no problem. Uh, it's just, it's just a longer, I'm just gonna have to pump this longer. Um, I went to Home Depot and grabbed some quarter inch line and uh, that in conjunction with this, which this is the part that you need for, uh, for uh, to do this. So notice this, I do apologize. Uh, my daughter did get stung by a bee and so I had to go address that. Uh, but from here on, on the video, I think I can just kind of explain this. I think you've seen what you need to see for the most part. But to make this connection here, you'll just need to get a brake bleeder kit that will have kind of miscellaneous sizes and, and connections uh, uh, like that blue piece there. And then the union is for a Toyota, and you'll have, you'll have to pay attention to this and find out for your vehicle what type of flare you have or what type of fitting. For Toyota, for this Toyota Tacoma at least, it's an inverted flare union that I needed, uh, thread M10 by 1. And then the vinyl tubing I got from Home Depot. I can't guarantee uh, that the vinyl tubing isn't going to break down over time. I know that brake fluid is is pretty corrosive stuff, but this is what I used. And the other, the last tip that I have here is one reason that, that this was actually a good mess up is because I was solo doing this, and so it was good for me to be able to run that clear vinyl tubing up over the windshield and then back down into my master cylinder so that I could actually keep watching the bubbles as they came by and I knew I mean I sat there and pumped myself for a good you know seven or eight minutes before the bubbles stopped uh, and it would have been a pain to have to keep getting in and out and in and out and in and out of the truck to figure out if I still have bubbles in my line so 
I purposely cut my clear vinyl line extra long so that I could uh, keep watching that. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, I apologize for the, it's a little disorganized, but hopefully you get the point. And this is my workaround for that rounded off uh, flare nut. Thanks for watching.